everybody and knows what butterfly means to them. And we all have a similar relationship with that uh, insect. And that is the, the fleetingness of its existence. And I think it's a symbol to all of us of our own mortality and beauty. And it's such a massive transformation from its beginning as, you know, from lava to caterpillar to pulpa to, to butterfly, that it is a really great word. I'm a big, big fan of architecture and I've always played with minimal ideas to maximum effect. Of course there are some big imposing elements but they're actually extremely simple. And then what's, what can we do with that and find, so you, you kind of take the obvious and then you throw it out and think of the unobvious and to play with those perspectives and, and how can we change the space, those things are, uh, I think they're interesting and yeah. Silent Screen is actually all about Conway. Schmetterling is something else, it's something more literal. The feeling of cabaret, this dancing so close to the audience and uh, these elements. It's a whole new lesson for Paul and I because we were in, in a home for 36 years and it was a little bit so what is going to happen and I have to say these invisible winds open beautiful uh, and enjoying it a lot. And always afraid of the systems because the way we were, we were very free. So I was a little bit, mm, but the dancers were so open and so hungry and so wanted that actually did rebound a little bit. So I got protected. I felt like they protect us. Silent Scream is very influenced by a uh, silent movie. It was the first time that it was very clearly introduced the acting, no acting, the facade. And that you can see is it's darker. It's, uh, it's the beginning of something. S silent Scream is like you have this tunnel where you have to enter and maybe you get lost and you don't see anything. But if you get out, it's there. The choreographic language, uh, it's uh, really rich uh, and uh, a lot of different qualities and um, when we worked uh, with uh, the choreographers, we take the time to go very slow and to do each movement. They give images or intentions behind the steps. It's not just only the steps, it's more the, what we have behind the steps. For me, the challenge uh, in this piece uh, is to, to, to go from the studio to the stage. It's completely different because it's a huge, uh, huge space and uh, you feel really tiny in this uh, space. I feel that I'm, uh, yeah, I, I, the, the space eat me. So for me, the challenge is to take the space. The beginning was because butterfly, it has this transformation of life, death, they many times are represented in many different religions as the transition of uh, towards death. Maybe, maybe the butterfly die, but what it doesn't die is the spirit of you did the top that you could do. Then you carry it in the other side. Then you feel like, then I can help other people. I did it. Tell me, come, come, you know? You understand? So it's, yeah, it's beautiful. 
because we were curious how they would influence and affect each other and would it work. So you could say first time in Munich, but also first time ever that we've put these ballets together. Eyes on the pie. Now big steps in plié, plié. So, yes. Plié. Yes. So, yes. So, yes. Plié. So, yes. So, yes. So, yes. Okay. In lots of ways, they both deal with the same idea of, of moving on, of letting go, of how scary that can be, but also how beautiful it can be. Whereas in Schmetterling, yeah, it's difficult, these moments of the idea of death and what will be and what will we leave and where is it all going. So the, the point is the, the love that we carry, you know, the things that we, the people that we care for and, and all of those things we sort of wanted to integrate into Schmetterling as much as possible rather than deal with death. You know. And nothing matters when we're dancing. In tatter tatters, you're in trancing. Be we in Paris or in Lansing. Nothing matters when we're dancing.